Welcome back to RPM's roundup of highlights from this year's Geneva Motor Show. It may look similar to the outgoing model, but the new Audi R8 is all new from the ground up with a brace of V10 engines, including a 450 kilowatt R8 Plus model. The lightweight chassis features carbon fiber and aluminium, while the cabin gets Audi's virtual cockpit. Scandinavian supercar brand Koenigsegg had Geneva's most powerful car, the hybrid drivetrain Rajara, featuring a twin-turbo V8 and three electric motors. Total output is more than 1,300 kilowatt, combined with 2,000 newton meters of torque. New from Lamborghini at Geneva was a lighter, more extreme version of the Aventador, dubbed the LP754 Super Veloce. A more powerful V12 engine, good for around 525 kilowatt, slingshots the car from 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds. Staying with supercars, the McLaren 675 Longtail is inspired by the McLaren F1 GTR Le Mans racer of the 1990s and is a hardcore version of the McLaren 650S, featuring a subtle redesign, reduced weight and more power. Only 500 will be built. Replacing the 458 Italia, the new Ferrari 488 GTB was a Geneva highlight. A key feature is the turbocharged 3.9-litre engine, which propels the newcomer from 0 to 100 in 3 seconds flat. The dramatic styling is influenced by the LaFerrari hypercar. Downsizing remains a major trend in new car design, and the Infiniti QX30 is the Nissan-based luxury brand's take on the compact SUV. Based on the brand's Q30 compact car platform, the QX30 will take on the Audi Q3, BMW's X1, and the Mercedes-Benz GLA. Set to become one of its biggest sellers worldwide, Mazda is bullish about the prospects of its new CX-3 crossover. Based on the Mazda 3, the CX-3 offers improved space and practicality, linked to a raised ride height for greater versatility. It's due in South Africa later this year. It gets the prize for the oddest nameplate, but the Renault Kajar, which shares its underpinnings with Nissan's Qashqai, is a sleek crossover that promises practicality and versatility, linked to Renault's latest generation turbo engines. The Hyundai iX35 was updated in South Africa recently, but it looks as if the replacement model will revive the original Tucson name for the compact SUV. The newcomer is said to ramp up style, quality and refinement. It's taken Mercedes-Benz a good few years, but it's finally released a direct rival to BMW's X6 Coupe crossover. Dubbed the GLE, the new Merc combines SUV and luxury coupe traits in a single design and will be offered with a range of engines, including this AMG version. While station wagons aren't popular in South Africa, they are top sellers in Europe, so Kia's estate car concept based on the large Optima sedan has a good chance of making it into production. This year's Geneva Motor Show had something for everyone, which is exactly why it remains Europe's most popular new car showcase.